Sometimes it's just about the little things. That's what I keep telling myself at least. And today's mod is definitely one of those cherry on top type of Tacoma accessories. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. If this is your first time stopping by and you love everything related to Tacomas, do me a favor and go ahead and subscribe now. Otherwise, you're gonna have bad luck for the next five years. Nothing I can do about that. So today we are going over a quick install and it looks like it's gonna thunderstorm any second, so that is good for me. Adding the custom grill badge from customcargrills.com. If you are interested in grabbing one of these, I will, of course, put a link down in the description below. All right, guys, so here's the complete kit. It's a little overcast right now, so the colors aren't really popping, but this is the orange and either gray or silver, depending on the light it looks like. Now, Custom Car Grills, they do have preset colors, but I reached out to them asking if they could do a custom like color order for me with the orange in the middle and their two grays on either side, and they did that no problem. So huge shout out to them. Thank you for hooking me up like that. Obviously, I think this color combo will look extremely wicked on my particularly wild build for the Tacoma, but definitely check out the other color options as well. Here is the complete kit. You have the backing plate, of course, the top plate that goes on top of these little angled rectangles, I guess, these cool little designs. And of course the bag of hardware includes a, an extremely tiny Allen wrench to get the bolts on. And I think if I measured it correctly, a seven millimeter socket to tighten the nylocks on the back. The through bolts right here are definitely skinny enough to get through the front of my grill, which I found out from the Custom Car Grills guy is actually from Custom Car Grills. So I'll mention that a little bit after I get this installed because my old TRD badge, which I just got off Amazon, the bolts are way too thick for the pattern up here, which I'll show you real quick. Otherwise I might have just slapped that on, but I definitely like the new one better. You can see this sort of like horizontal mesh grill. These openings were not big enough for that bolt. And in addition to loving how this looks, this definitely feels well made. It is certainly bulky for such a small item. I'll do a quick comparison with the weight compared to my old emblem right here, which a lot of this weight is probably these larger bolts. Put that on the scale real quick. That looks like 2.1 ounces. And after I add all the pieces for the new one, it's about twice if I remember correctly. So this isn't even including the hardware, which is minuscule. Look at that, five ounces, so about two and a half times the girth, which, come on now, that's never a bad thing, of the old emblem. So let's go ahead and get this installed. Of course, installation is super easy. You just run it through wherever you want. I'm going to do mine on the sort of bottom right or driver's side corner and attach the hardware from the back. Now come on, even though the color choice might not be your first preference, you have to admit, it looks pretty awesome. That's amazing. All right, guys, so like I mentioned when I reached out to the customcargrills.com guy about switching up the color pattern here, I included a picture of my truck and he actually saw the video where I went over this grill where I actually got it secondhand, so I thought it came from somewhere else and he recognized his pattern. He said, this is actually one of theirs. So I wanted to go over this real quick as a bonus just to show you guys. If you are shopping around for like one of those full grill replacements, if you get one that's already pre-assembled, those are usually around four or five hundred dollars, so not exactly a cheap mod to do. Definitely a cool mod to do because it completely changes the front of your truck, probably more so than you would think. But if you go the custom car grills route, let me flip this around. Got the wire for my camera right there. And it's a little dirty because I just went wheeling, believe it or not. Your boy does leave them all sometimes. And I think Custom Car Grills has videos on their website and on YouTube about this, but you can buy these mesh inserts. They do have several patterns. I like this one. It's kind of subtle without being too like in your face, like with some of the hexagon patterns. And it looks pretty easy to install. You just sort of trim out the plastic like with a Dremel or something. And with some hot glue or maybe plastic weld, stuff like that, you can get this inserted relatively easily. So if you guys are interested in going a less expensive route, I don't want to say cheaper because this is definitely a high quality product. I love the way it looks. Go ahead and check out Custom Car Grills. Maybe grab one of these for yourself. All right, guys, that will do it for this video today. Nice and quick. Make sure you comment below. Let me know if you think of my choice of the Custom Car Badge and if you were going to get one and what colors you would go with. If this is your first time stopping by, make sure you subscribe, give the video a like, and help the channel grow by sharing it with your friends on social media. Enjoy the rest of your week, and I'll see you in the next video.